I have a voltage boosting board here. This can be used to boost voltage from 3 volts all the way up to 35 volts. This is similar to the voltage boosting board that I used before except this has a higher power handling capacity. Theoretically it can go up to 100 watts. So um, input is on this side here, output is on this side and uh, I just use a uh, lithium battery pack for batteries in there 18650 to power it you can put in whatever you want you can use a solar panel actually one of the uh, indicate one of the applications indicated is uh, as a regulator for solar solar panels so uh, this is the first time I'm testing it you can uh, this is constant voltage and constant current. The left is for adjustment of voltage and the right is for adjustment of uh, current. And there's a digital meter here. I tried, I tested the di digital LED meter. I think it's slightly off. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to hook this up for the first time to a 12 volt battery. The 12 volt battery is uh, is full. It's actually at about 13 volts, and I set the charging voltage to 13.4. And I'm hooking the uh, battery up for the first time and uh, see what's what happens. Okay, here it me it measures the voltage of the battery that I hooked it up to. So I'm going to turn the unit on and see what's, what happens. Okay, that's the output voltage. And let's switch to, this looks like the uh, charging current, which is 0.35 amp. You can increase it or decrease it with, uh, with the uh, potentiometer here. When the uh, battery voltage uh, gets full, the current would drop. And on this part here, this is for the adjustment of the voltage. Okay, when I first connected it, the battery voltage was 13 volts. Let's see here. This is 13 volt. This is charging voltage. I actually set it to 13.4, and this is the amperage that it is charging at now. And this is the um, voltage of your power source, which is my lithium-ion batteries. So you see, I can actually use for lithium-ion batteries to charge a 12 volt battery. Not that that is what you want to do but it can do it um, let's look at the meter of my uh, of my solar uh, voltage here which is that's the voltage of the battery when I hooked it up it was 13 volts now it's 13.15 and of course the voltage of my lithium batteries dropped it was like a uh, about four volts before so it's dropped considerably because it's pouring the uh, current into my deep cycle battery I just have one deep cycle battery here okay let's decrease it even further you can see it's 0.33 and now let's turn it the other way now it's point, point 0.5 amp. Let's turn it. You can see the amp meter here with the charging current of 0 0.6. When the battery is more getting filled up, the charging current will drop. So um, when you see that, that it is only putting out 
say 0.4 amp or 0.3 amp that doesn't mean that um, it can't charge at a high rate it just means your uh, your battery is getting full and uh, it should it should drop pretty much to uh, close to zero when when the battery is full so the volt meter on my solar setup here reads 13.4 let me switch off this charger here and see okay I just switch it off and you see the voltage drop immediately uh, to 13.15 so this is in effect giving it a small charge make the adjustment easier maybe a knob or something would, would be nice so I just adjusted it to 18 volt okay let's see what's the applications you can do uh, power supply 12 volt you can boost it to 12 to 35 um, for laptop I just mentioned that uh, solar panel regulator uh, DIY current mobile power with a single lithium ion battery uh, the lithium ion battery is about 3.7 volts and you can boost it to 5 volt and this actually has a USB connector here output connector you can uh, use this directly to charge a cell phone it has the uh, cell phone resistor identifiers built in and it has a pretty big output 2.4 uh, amp let's see what else I can say about this okay I um, the way I set this up is basically I mounted this on a board connected it to my power pack and uh, this is the bottom of the power pack and I run some wires directly to the battery power pack added a, a little fuse here a switch here and uh, and uh, the power pack is connected to this um, voltage boosting board you might say uh, why don't you just use this directly well this is 5 volt and uh, this you can use different voltages there are power packs that you can adjust the voltage to 12 volts but uh, not that many can adjust the voltage all the way up to 35 volts um, I was thinking of connecting the output of this power pack to this but then I would be using USB cables and the power handling uh, of the USB cable is not that great it, it might it can get get burned up because it, the wires can only handle maybe like one amp or so and uh, I use a, a bit thicker cable because this can handle up to 100 watts and you can see the lights here uh, this would be the input voltage this is output voltage and the middle is for the adjustment of the current so um, it's pre pretty good I'm, I'm I forgot exactly how much it is I'm gonna look look it up and uh, put the price in the uh, description here probably about 15 to 20 dollars on eBay by the way I added a small solar panel here to charge the power pack this can only give it a very small trickle charge you have to plug it in if you really want to charge the power pack this is more like to prevent the uh, lithium ion batteries from draining if I put it under sunlight you can see there's a little red light that goes on here I don't know if you can see clearly and uh, this means that uh, 
it is charging the battery. So when I'm not using it, I'll put it near the window and let it uh, keep the battery pack charge up. And so that's the long and the short of it.